Good evening, everybody. Noma here again. As always, I always touch upon these subjects uh, in a multidimensional kind of way. And I'm going to be talking about uh, sexual dis dissatisfaction from a couple's point of view right now. So, what are the things that you should not do with your partner to improve your sex life? One, do not criticize them all the time. And also, if you do want to gently tell them something about something that they may not be doing right, please have a discussion, a dialogue about it, not continuous nagging, sarcasm, negative comments, de, uh, demeaning, de-respecting that person. That's one. Two, appreciate the person more. Um, if, Especially if in case of a woman, women are very, um, they continuously need to know that their man loves them and that, that, that their man is going to be there for them no matter what, even if the most beautiful, hot woman was to approach that man, he is still going to choose me. Um, this is something she will never take for granted. You have to remember that. Even if you've said it to her 10,000 times, you better say it to her another 10,000 times or show it to her in different ways in another 10,000 times. That makes a woman blossom in the bedroom. If she's 100% confident and 100% sure that she is the one for you, She's the one you value, she's the one you love, she's the one you adore, she's the one you have um, the, your crush on, she's the one who you find the sexiest. She is going to be another creature in the bedroom, I promise you that. Similarly for women, never ever continuously keep comparing your man to other men. He is more successful, he bought a new Bema, uh, he, he took his family to Rome, he's taller, look at how fit he is, he just doesn't even touch alcohol. Um, uh, he's bought a new bungalow. Men are, you know, power hungry. For them, success is defined in the terms of power, success, money, work, uh, and adoration from women. And if their own woman does not appreciate them, does not find um, them capable enough, able enough of looking after her and the family, they're completely shattered. And that immediately shows in the bedroom. Two. Three. Do not assume things in a relationship. Don't think that your woman is this Sati Savitri holier than thou person and taboo and she will not be open to experimenting in bed. It is very possible for a woman to be absolutely dignified um, and conduct herself like a lady and yet um, be very open and experimental to different things in her sexual life. So you have to learn how to separate sleaze, um, sensuality, and taboo, sickness about it. Those are three different categories. Fit your woman in the sensual category, treat her well and see the difference. Four, continuously talking about your previous houses, you know, your maternal house or your paternal house and your, or, or comparing, uh, you know, your husband to your father and your brother that they are better, they are better, they are better, that's a no-go. Similarly for a man, continuously comparing her to your mommy or your sister is a no-go. These are things that completely change the dynamics of the heart and the emotion and it all shows in the bedroom. Four, um, you have to keep the romance alive. You have to keep a little bit of um, uh, wooing her and you have to also tease him a little bit, you know, whether you sext or you text or you hide a little note under his pillow or he buys you flowers. Those are very, very important parts. So romance leads to sex. Please remember that. Men who feel time for romance chala gaya, to time for sex bhi chale jayega. Bhoti jaldi. So continue to fall in love with your partner. Find reasons to fall in love with your partner. That's very important. Fifth and most important, and I feel especially with Indian couples, couples, there is nothing wrong that you decide to do in your bedroom as two consenting partners. So please be open. Please don't Please don't think that, oh, she comes from a small town, so she will absolutely not be okay with a certain aspect of sex. And don't assume if, if he asks you to experiment that he's being dirty. Um, talk about it, communicate, uh, experiment, see what works, see doesn't what doesn't work, and then reach a conclusion. Don't assume assumption, comparison, constant nagging or criticism um, are sure shot ways of killing the sex drive. So I hope this, along with what I told you as Dr. Navya, helps you all um, and you have the best uh, relationships ever. And oh, one more last thing. Men feel foreplay starts in the bedroom. 
मैं इफ़ यू डोंट ट्रीट हर वेल आउटसाइड द बेडरूम यू विल नेवर सी द सेंशुअल सेक्सी वाइल्ड साइड ऑफ हर ट्रीट हर लाइक अ क्वीन आउटसाइड द बेडरूम ट्रीट हर वेल वन विन हर कॉन्फिडेंस विन हर ट्रस्ट डू नॉट एवर बॉडी शेम हर और जज हर एंड योर लाइफ इज वन अ चेंज लाइक मैजिक बाय